here we are. Game 17. 15 and 16 we didn't record, but we did um, confirm trade rumors with our agent. Um, and we got two badges in game 15, one badge in game 16. So we now have three finishing badges, three shooting badges, two playmaking badges. So we're going to get this um, game 17 started here. We're playing Milwaukee. Got an away game. So we'll get this one started. The Bucks are always hyped to play in front of their home crowd. And tonight's no different. Some confident players coming through the tunnel earlier on. Downtown Milwaukee is seen from the shore of Lake Michigan on a cloudless day. Oh yeah, and we're it's a player stat right now at 73. So they do not. Kevin, thank you. Well, he's an all-star teammate. David, as you point out in that story. Thank you. Now the starting group for Orlando. Isaac and Carter are manning the post position. Here we go. Anthony is out there with Suggs. And it's Wagner in at the three. Magic substitution. When you think of elite half-court offenses, uh, what, what comes to mind? Yeah, I think of teams that just get advantage in the half court, Kevin, and then keep it. And there are a lot of teams that, that are mediocre that when a player makes something happen, the rest of the guys stand around or are not in position to, to be an outlet and to make the next play. Elite offenses in the NBA feel like there's a continuity no matter what happens and the pro perception where they make the reads and continue to play to find their best scoring opportunity. The Magic shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Duncan, their success rate on the season, taking right around 77%. Free throw good, MP. And so he makes both from the line. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Hill passes to out of the Kumbo. The shot comes out, and it's the Magic taking it the other way. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Milwaukee's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Fultz against him. Down low, here's Lopez, and the rebound goes to Lopez. Orlando three right here. the pass to MP inside Baba trying to break free and there's Lopez that's good on the assist by MP comfortable shooting close to the basket the size Lopez possesses gives him confidence down low about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks Allen against Fultz shot clock at six Here's Connaughton, and the Bucks miss again. MP outside. Yep. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Magic lead by one, and we'll get going. All right, so we got the lead by one, and. And a value yeah, reserve for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton was asked about the depth of this team. I've been saying it for a long time. You know, we have much more depth than I think people will. And he's a prime example. The former second-round pick continuing to improve. Refining his perimeter shot, Kevin. And as we've seen, he can play above the rim as well. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Number and when you consider how the Magic are doing, what do you think? Well, pounding the boards is one way 
to gain an advantage. They simply owned the glass in that first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Bucks. We've got Al. Brooke Lopez is out there with Ojo. And there's Hill. And it's Connaughton in at the three, the small four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Hill deciding where to go with it. Passes it to Ojo. And it's off from three point range. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. MP passes to Wagner. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Wagner's got the lead up to seven now for the Magic. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Well, with the addition of Drew Holiday, this Bucks team has gotten even better. Giannis Adentacumpo said, we've got a lot of talent and great players. I really believe in this group. As long as we stay healthy, we find a way to compete every night and give ourselves a chance. Guys? David, they're stacked, that's for sure. Thanks. Now a timeout call by Milwaukee. Right, we got 10 points to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. Yeah, let's give a shout out to their defense in that one. And the Frank B. The shot block. So if we can get a cushion on that, we could get a. Uh, yeah, last game was pretty impressive here. stuff on that end of the floor, just getting up near shooters and blocking as many. I'll let this play out. Looks like we're maintaining the lead here. And we're going to go right into the half, I think. Oh, we lost the lead. Going into the half. Milwaukee heading to the bench with a seven. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. I'm still not in for the match. Isaac's checked in for Bamba. And MP subbed in for Anthony. And so in the game for the Magic, Isaac and Carter are manning the post position. Suggs out there with MP. And it's Wagner in at the three. Isaac kicks to MP. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and and still have a good offense. Well, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter, keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure on the defense. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his and way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. The Magic trail by 11. MP outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. Even Genzo's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Holiday. A shot off that time. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Isaac outside. Vincenzo against MP. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Onto Takumbo, passes to Portis. And Bobby Portis, an interesting right talent. He can play back to the basket. He can play one dribble away. And as a stretch five, if they play small, he's able to knock down three. The first one falls. A different look for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. Orlando also making some changes. Lopez comes in for Wagner. And it's Fultz in for Suggs. To the wing right side. Fultz the pass to MP. 
feeds it to Carter. Lopez with the steal. Here's DiVincenzo. Rebound by the Magic. Well, we know Bobby Portis, Brent, has bounced around between teams, but as you said, the shooting has been there. The shooting has been there, and that's what he came in to the NBA as a great rebounder, but a great scorer coming in. And now he's finding more confidence in being able to step to the three-point line and let it rip. Cloak loose. It's stolen by Carter. And, oh, here we go. Carter's got it in the fast break chance. MP outside. Pass to Carter. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his third assist on the night. Timeout called the box. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to stay fresh all the way to the final whistle. Kevin, it really is. And everyone in these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Don't drop down. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Jimmy Ogile comes in for Portis, and Allen subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. And here's Hill for three. The shot, no good. And Orlando the other way now. Isaac with the ball. No points in the game yet for him. MP looking around. Lopez right side. Shot clock at five. And here's MP for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Ojalade's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Hill against MP. And it's sent back by Carter. The anticipation from Carter Jr. has a strong sense for when to go after that block shot. Here's Connaughton. Lopez covering. And that one's good from Connaughton. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Now, MP. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The Bucks on top, up by 12. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And... Magic comes from Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Dante DiVincenzo yeah, comes in for him. Two to go. And it's Holiday in for Hill. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Lopez. Bodger right, comes in for Bob he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's checked right in now. for Markel Fultz. And MP he's subbed in for Cole right. Anthony. Giannis and Portis, the lengthy post pair for him. The wingmen, DiVincenzo and Middleton. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. Adekumbo kicks to Holland. To the inside, Portis lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. That's his fourth personal Give them credit. They've worked hard all game now looking to finish it. No, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort for the squad. To the paint. Got a piece of it. 
and a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bucks. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Of it. They just kept after it. It shows they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Giannis. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy Jaylen infected his teammates Three. and the wrecking ball on both ends. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Holiday against the bucket. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Loved it. The guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Suggs passes to MP. To the middle. Here's Carter. Good in the assist goes to MP. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it right, when it matters. Do it. And yeah, we got the beat mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. Onto the Kumbo looking it over. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This game needs to get some extra heading to that. Really you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know that right, they just it appreciated it. And we saw on a at times the stretches of Good excellent shooting. defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching <laughs> the NBA presented by two... Let me look at my schedule for uh, next week, and I'll let y'all know. Do you remember when we first met and Ricky asked us about doing things outside the norm? And you said you can make anything work if I ball out. And that was the selling point. Ricky liked that. I mean, I think the exact words were, there's not a vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. What, do you have a photographic memory? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Point is, you want to trade, and we can make that happen for you. It just won't be immediate. And as always... The better you ball, the more options you have available to you. Okay, cool. So so what's next? Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out where you want to play basketball. So I'm going to need your top three destinations. Top three? I thought I thought I'd just come We're in here and let you... just going to poof, make it happen for you. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean... All right, look, look, look. It's a possibility. We are very good at what we do. We exhaust every avenue to get our clients what we want. But you don't have a no-trade clause. And in reality, people don't always get their first choice. So yeah, we need you to make a list three preferred trade destinations. And then this way, you have a couple of good options and the team has the flexibility to not feel like they're getting raked over the coals by you guys. MP, you know they don't even have to trade you if you don't want to, right? Yeah, I hear you. That, that sounds fair. Okay. Three is good. I can make that work. I'll make it work. Hey, MP, this is the fun part. Where do you want to go? All right, top three here. What are our choices? My top team. Let's go. I want to make the Bulls do good again here. Let's go with Chicago for the top team. And then we're going to go Charlotte and Let's go with the Nuggets. Awesome. Okay, so so what now? Well, if you want this to happen quickly, we can be aggressive, but it comes at the cost of more or less ruining the relationship with this front office. So if you can wait a little, we can work a little closer with them to ensure that everyone walks away feeling like a winner. No hard feelings. Let's be aggressive. They've been benching me and... Honestly, I just gotta not get like it. ASAP. I don't know, it's like the long I'm hit. Something got to give. That's what I'm trying to say. Something got to give. Okay. So we put on the full court press. Yes. Okay. What that look like? 
you negotiate through the media, make your list of preferred trade destinations, and you got to make it a problem that you're still on the roster. You you talking about the Jimmy Butler experience? You know I am. <laughs> Does it hurt your image in the short term? It's minimal. Yeah, maybe, but that's only if you're trying to be the goody two shoes type. You went out, so that's not even an issue. Not not everyone's gonna love you in this life, so you might as well get used to it now. I see. So what are we thinking? Let's take the public. Look, ladies, I gotta get out of here, like, yesterday. Great. Then we take a public. No hesitation. Don't be surprised if your list of trade destinations gets leaked in the next couple of days, okay? Yep. In the meantime, go relax. We're gonna take care of it for you. Copy that. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank I'll you. see you soon. Yeah. Take care, MP. Time to get on the phone. All right, how much do we have here? 973. So what do we want to do here? Standing dunk. We want to be able to take some three-pointers at some point. So there we go. We're still at 93. And we've got to play Milwaukee again. So we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you tuning in.